Why does everyone like Ice Spice? Let's get straight into it. In the past couple years, we have seen more female rappers explode into the mainstream than ever before. Some might even argue that they are currently getting more attention than upcoming male artists. Female artists typically receive much more hate than their male counterparts, but Ice Spice is a little different. When her track Munch exploded on TikTok, everyone thought she was going to be here and gone within a month. But with her most recent collaboration reaching number three on the Billboard Hot 100, her rise has exposed a lot of truths about hip hop that people are not willing to accept. Drink water, y'all. Ice Spice is a- Before we get too far into it, man, I'm, I'm loving the female hip hop scene, man. Like they coming through with super creative, fire flows man they, they are it's a lot of dope female artists coming up right now man product of the new york drill rap movement which was popularized in the mainstream by the late pop smoke growing up in the bronx her parents realized how dangerous the environment was and they wanted to get her out so they sent her to a private catholic school in yonkers new york called sacred heart her nickname was ice which is short for isis which is her real name and she came up with the name ice spice as her instagram handle while she was in high school but it wasn't until she attended college at suny purchase when she decided to start actually trying to make music a producer by the name of riot saw little freestyles and rap bars she would post on Instagram and he convinced her to try and take music seriously. He sent her the beats he was making and they started working together. After dropping out of school in her sophomore year, she had nothing but time to work on music. She was posting on TikTok and gaining a following from her thirst trap videos. In March of 2021, she dropped her first song and music video called Bully Freestyle, which was a song about getting whatever she wants from men because of her looks, which is common for female rappers but uncommon for New York drill. See, drill rap, more specifically Bronx drill rap, is cut throat in your face borderline screaming lethal threats to your ops on a bass heavy beat so ice's smooth presence and very minimal gangsta energy was a standout for her later on it's yeah it's like the tone of her voice it's like she's very like chill laid back but it has a super smooth like it, it fits like any type of beat in her voice like like she finds a pocket. In 2021, you know? she dropped her song No Clarity, which sampled Clarity by Zed, a very unorthodox sample for a drill record, accompanied by a video of Ice Spice dropping melancholic in her feels bars while twerking the pain away. Immediately, she was met with hate. This ain't getting us out the hood, it's moving us across the street. As a deaf person, this song goes hard. So we're just twerking to sad music now? To continue growing her brand, she posted TikToks that would easily get attention from people. And this is definitely the type of behavior that female female rap haters use to disprove their talents, saying that all they have to do is use their looks, say something sexual, and people will praise them. There are some truths to this. Pretty privilege is a real thing, and we all know that sex sells. It always has. Men capitalize True. on the same thing in their music videos and visuals, but when one of the women, who may have been in the background, is the one benefiting, it becomes controversial. By mid-2022, she was already being recognized by blogs and media outlets as a promising upcoming artist, even though she she only had five songs released. When her On The Radar freestyle was released, she started gaining the respect of rap fans. Since the only thing to focus on was the lyric she was rapping, people were more engaged. However, most of the world got hip to Ice Spice when she dropped Munch in August of 2022. Funny thing is, a lot of you have just heard the first four lines on TikTok and not even the full song, which is fine because these days that's all it takes to have a hit song. The term True. Munch was created no by Ice Spice because she no just lie. needed something to rhyme with. He ate it for lunch. She created an anthem to empower women who get their needs satisfied from a man and kick him out. Ice Spice's confidence and alpha female attitude in this song is pretty typical for a successful female rapper. Hip-hop has been dominated by males and women are often portrayed as an accessory to them. They call them I think it's like it's her look Like she has the unique style like from her her uh, curls and, and the color of her curls like I don't think people understand how much a look is very important when it comes to music like Every artist needs to have their own look something unique something people would just be like hold up. Who is that? All right, they'll it'll get people talking, you know? Like, you gotta have a unique look, bruh. Like, if you're trying to be an artist, like, you gotta find your look. It's genuine to you. Like, it can't be just something out the blue, you know? But definitely gotta have a look. 
them bitches, hoes, and usually refer to them only in sexual scenarios. Ice Spice and other women are flipping that narrative. But what really sent this record on fire was a leaked DM. Drake messaged Ice Spice giving her praise on the record five days before it was released. This got a lot of people suspicious. How was the biggest rapper in the game tapped in with Ice Spice before everyone else? Also, how could this private DM get leaked? It's crazy to think that just a message from Drake could bring genuine buzz to an I mean, artist. Drake Two days later, she was seen a lot in a crowd of OBO artists. fest in Toronto beside the rapper. Drake has an entire team dedicated to discovering the best upcoming talent. This way, he is always tapped in with the next trend, can capitalize on a young artist's career, and it makes him look good for supporting the newcomers. But the common thought was that Drake was just trying to sleep with her, which is an assumption that most female artists get as well, that they have to sleep around to get notoriety. How Drake doing you? You gon' give Drake a chance, bruh? Her TikTok account was flooded with people shipping the two, hoping they would become hip-hop's next light-skinned power couple. Either way, the music community thought this all felt way too calculated, and it probably was. All of this was just marketing to promote Munch, which went viral as soon as it dropped. The difference between the Munch record and a lot of other similar records from female artists is that men genuinely, unironically liked the song. They couldn't help but expose their inner baddie while listening to the tune. Oh, you thought I was feeling you? That nigga's a munch. Niggas are eating, eat it for lunch. Yeah, that hook is mad catchy. And one thing I, I will say that I, I really can't stand is like whenever people see like a male and a female together, it always has to be some type of intimacy or it has to be a relationship or are they doing something it can never just be work it can never just be like business it can never just be like they just took a photo together like bro <laughs> like, i don't know man i i do not like that man and i hate when people take it that route man oh they're sleeping together like no bro like they just took a photo <laughs> You said that a little too spicy. <laughs> I like that song. I, I, we know. I, and I like her. That's Joe Biden confidently singing Very the catchy. song simply represented what a lot of men were doing privately. The big smile on his face let everyone know he wasn't ashamed to be a munch. Despite the song being mega viral, it didn't chart on the Billboard Hot 100, and I was surprised to find out it only had 60 million Spotify streams, which is a oh, lot, wow. don't get me wrong. But the song feels like it was much bigger than the streams represent. I mean, it does have over 30 million views on YouTube. From there, she started doing club appearances and festival appearances with just one song. She was everywhere, doing a full-blown media tour, including a stream with Kai Sanat where everybody got to know about her a little bit more. They got to know her personality, which stood out from the rest. Although her music is very confident, her personality shows that she is a lot more chill and relaxed. Ice and Cleo seem so genuinely chill, I'm shook. I ain't gonna lie, I don't really care for her, but seeing her personality on stream made me actually respect her more. As much hate as she get, she's actually cool as f seems down to earth. She was winning some people over, but others were itching to take her down. That's why it's, it's never just the looks. Like, it can never just be the looks. You gotta have some type of personality, because looks will only get you so far. Talent will only get you fo so far. Like, you gotta have looks, personality, and talent. Like, you gotta, like, you... You really got to have something more for people to really just stick around because if not, it's just going to be a viral moment. And then it's just like we forgot about that person. But in her case, she really like made sure she was like going to be a household name. Like it was shout out to her and her team, bro. Like they did they thing, bro. Like for real. They would post videos of clubs that were thinned out and nobody vibing to her song, trying to prove that she was nothing more than a one-hit wonder. But to many people's surprise, the preview of her next song was accepted with open arms, Bikini Bottom, which was literally a SpongeBob sample drill beat. Then her next, In Her Mood, was also praised. She was gearing up her first project and it couldn't have been executed more perfectly. She didn't go too ambitious. She gave the world a six song EP of all Which drill really records smart. that all sound very similar. A catchy sample with her signature monotone delivery. Plus being in the genre of drills advantageous for an artist because the fans like that the songs have a very similar repetitive pattern. Basically, she didn't do too much. But her not doing too much and being extremely successful is what spurred up even more controversy. Giving her the daunting label of mid. Y'all love a mid, light-skinned rapper. This tweet came from Chica, a 2020 XXL freshman. Although we don't know if Chica was talking about Ice Spice specifically, this sparked a debate of colorism in regards to hip-hop and entertainment as a whole, said perfectly by YouTuber I Am Eloho. 
In my opinion, Ice Spice is getting the Cardi B package. When Cardi B first hit the scene, it was the same thing. It was the young Latina from the Bronx, surrounded by this black American culture. It's almost as if there's a formula for success for these type of women, right? The argument here is essentially that dark-skinned women have to work harder and be more talented if they want to reach the highest level of success. Kenzo B and Shani Boney are two extremely talented drill artists who damn near rap better than most men, but don't get praised like Ice Spice. There could definitely be some truths here. Even Nah, it's definitely, definitely some truths. <laughs> like, big truths. You know. with men. I think it's pretty obvious that Drake has benefited from the fact that his racial ambiguity allows him to be a relatable figure for almost all races. He is undeniably the biggest rapper, but a lot of people are quick to say his music is mediocre. But when it comes to Ice Spice over her peers, it seems unfair to say that just because her image is relatable to more people, that is why she is successful. Her beat style and delivery is relatively fresh when it comes to drill music. Plus, the biggest counter argument is that simply music is subjective. Sometimes there isn't a specific reason why you like a song more than another. You just do. And at the end of the day, we know that in all aspects of the entertainment industry, your image, likeness, and ability to be marketed will almost always beat out skill. Exactly. Like like I said, man, our image is so important. I don't care. Like, some of the most popular artists popped off because of their image. Like, their image they had something, uh, a catchy song. And, and like you, it's it's, it's got to be like, like you gotta like really like figure it out, bro. <laughs> it's, it makes so much sense, bro. Like Ice Spice has an image that it just it captures your eyes soon as you like you know Ice Spice as soon as she come in in the room. Like it's just like her hair, you know, her style. Like it just it, it captures your eye, you know, and that's what every artist needs, you know. It's been that way forever. As if it couldn't get any better for Ice Spice, she was asked to be on the remix of Boy's a Liar, which was another extremely viral TikTok song by UK artist Pink Pantheris. Both artists that have an extremely smooth fire. and quaint delivery complemented by a cute, dancey rhythm. Their collaboration debuted at number 14 on the Billboard Hot 100 after it gained 20.2 million US streams, 585,000 radio airplay audience impressions, and 600 downloads sold in the first week. It would ultimately peak at number three a few weeks later. Recently, Ice Spice just performed at Rolling Loud and got a way better response than Coyle Ray's debut. Coyle Ray was made fun of for not engaging the audience, she was harassed online, claimed she didn't belong in hip hop, and bullied to the I point where she that. wanted to quit. But for Ice Spice, but the now look at her. were praising her for trying. Like, Coyle Ray is out here killing it, man. And I love to see it, bro. Trying hard and making progress towards being a better performer. Also, Ice Spice's Rolling Loud performance was the second most viewed performance. That's also another thing why you cannot let the hate get to you. You got to keep pushing, man. Because over time, like, you can overcome, like, what anybody says, bro. Like, people were hating on her. She kept pushing, kept kept applying pressure and now look at it like she on top performance after playboy cardi and after receiving cosigns from cardi b and Nicki minaj ice spice is officially on top of the game right now in general it is harder for a female hip-hop artist to break through to the mainstream it's True. no secret hip-hop has a misogynistic past and has been dominated by men but ice spice is the first female artist i've seen in a while to get fair treatment every artist is going to be criticized and hated on ice spice is definitely one of them but with females the hate and criticism reaches a different level I think people are giving Ice Spice the benefit of the doubt and genuinely want to see what more she has to offer. Something is different about her that is resonating with a lot of fans. And because of this, I hope people will be more open-minded towards female rap artists in the future. Exactly. Speaking of music, I just dropped a seven song EP that I executive produced with Quay the Artist. It's available everywhere and I would really appreciate if you check out some of the songs. Shout out to Patrick, man. I was coming through with the fire documentaries, man. Make sure I smack the subscribe until next time. Deuces.